Stitch number 54, turkey work. I have my tail of my thread on the outside in the front, and there's no knot, and I'm going to just take a little stitch to anchor that. So I'm going to leave that tail on the top. This stitch is like making our little carpet. <laughs> Take little tiny stitches and we're going to leave this at a loop so that we have a loop right there. Then we're going to do another stitch to secure that loop. We're going to pull it tight. Next, we're going to take a little tiny stitch and leave a loop. You want to try and get your loops to be pretty close to the same height. I'm using six strands of embroidery floss. It separates nicely when you go to make your pile of your carpet. I'm going to do a row of about five loops and then I will come back and do a second row. Now you're going to give your little project a haircut at the end and so it's not vitally important that all of your stitches are the same all your loops are the same height but do try and make them pretty close to the same and sometimes I feel like it anchors the stitches a little better if you split the stitches as you come up it doesn't matter if they're not split but sometimes that kind of helps Do one more here. And one last little tack stitch. The tacking has to happen to anchor those loops in place. You don't want the loops to come undone. Now I'm going to go back to the go to the back. And then I am going to just come up on the left side for a second row. Now I'm going to try and offset the loops so that they're not in the exact same spot. So I'm going to do a little tack stitch so that I come up in the middle of my last loop. And then I'll be able to space this. so that my loops are a little bit offset. The closer that you make your loops, the closer you create your pile, the better your fluff will look as we give it a haircut. You can see that you definitely Use both hands while you're doing this stitch. This is a cute stitch to do the center of a flower, a little bunny's tail, anywhere where you want some texture that's three-dimensional. A couple more stitches here. You can see that a couple of rows actually gives you quite a bit of pile here. Okay, we'll do one more. And one more tack.
tack stitch. Now, if you're going to not give it a haircut, if you're going to leave loops, then you need to form your loops very evenly. And you can stick a straw or a pencil or some other eye, um, object in there to um, secure those loops so that they are the same height. Okay, I would go back and then um, tie off that thread. Okay, now you're going to clip all those little tops of your loops. I think I got them all. And I like to use the six strands of floss because then they kind of separate and it makes your pile pretty cute. Then you're going to give it a little bit of a haircut. And then you just take your needle Kind of separate those strands a little bit and then you can give it a second haircut because we didn't do our final trimming. Now you will notice that if you trim too short you're not going to have any pile left. You can trim it texturally also so that it's a little shorter on the sides taller in the middle so that it's rounded out. A little um, eyebrow brush can work nice for this. Anyway, that's how you do the turkey work. Then you have to clean up lots. And that is the turkey work stitch.